Hello guys and um, welcome back again to another part in my DIY analog synthesizer tutorial project videos and what I'm going to try to, uh, to do in this video is quickly go through with you the amendments which I've made to the exponential converter which is taken from the Jupiter 8 stroke Roland System 100M um, topology and if we had just quickly look at that schematic there again and just remind ourselves of what's what and what we're doing if we see this point here this is this is the cutoff point which we're completely ignoring because all we're dealing with here this part here is the oscillator this is the saw core oscillator so we're going up to that where we have the collector from our second transistor in our monolithic array we're going up to that point that's all we're dealing with if we look at the schematic as I've drawn it now if you may notice what I have done is as opposed to using if we look at the first schematic here which uses the CA3046 uh, as a transistor array it uses Q3 and Q4 I think Let's have a look at that seven six yeah so Q seven six and pin five is Q three nine ten eleven is Q four so what I have done is used Q one and two because these emitters are actually joined and as you can see that there we're just we, we we you need to physically bridge that with from pins ten to seven they're actually physically joined on the die so you get a much better um, transistor matching within this array and they're likely to sort of have the same kind of temperature stability or same kind of temperature coefficient should it be drift either way up or down as if we use any of the other transistors within this array it could we could get some differences uh, just a few amendments I wanted to go over with you if we look at C1 on the original um, yeah so that's the same so what I've done I've, I've changed that to 1 nano we've kept that as 1 nanofarad now and the capacitor up here which should be sorry that no sorry that was yeah well anyway forget that we'll just call we could just call this one C2 for now and that's a 10 UF between 6 and 7 I think it's to be honest with you it's quite optional I've just put it in there and it's kind of held the um, the voltage um, the voltage control quite steady to be honest with you so and also if you look here within the emitters I have put a 1 mega ohm resistor and a diode which goes into the base of Q1 and all these small little things I've tried to tweak has helped give me the uh, good, good, pretty much good tracking on here the high frequency tracking on the original schematic it says use a 5, 5k now I've changed that to 10k and if we go up here on the original schematic it says 19k and 2k I don't think you're going to get much width on these oscillators if you use that value so I've changed them to 15k and used a 22k trimmer which gives you far better range again if we look at this schematic um, R, just wait for that camera to focus if we look at R10 which is 2.2 I have removed that and completely just replaced that with a jump wire which gives me a much better um, high frequency tracking um, it gives the high frequency tracking error adjustment a better a uh, better chance and more width if we look at the note in CV so this is the note that you're applying from your CV in keyboard I've changed that to 180k I've tried it with 100 first of all just for the life of me I couldn't get it to it scaled to an extent but not quite as good as I needed it to so I've, I've changed that I've, I've put that higher to 100 I've put 150k 280 so again please don't take these values for absolute gospel experiment and see what works best for you and your setup and 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 your needs R11 was originally 820k again I've changed that now to 1 mega ohm and to be quite frank with you that is pretty much about it everything else is pretty much kept the same 
as we can see we've got the OPE, you don't have to necessarily use the OPA2132s, we could try use 4458s or TL072s. Um, we could try use 4458s or TL072s dual op amp so we've just got the single dual op amp chips chip A op amp B and op amp A here and as we look over here we can see that's our that's the one mega ohm which I've changed which was the 820 and that's the trimmers there and that's the OPA2132 I hope I've got that number right and pretty much everything else is the same setup and these capacitors are COG rated which means there's zero temperature um, temperature doesn't affect the capacitance value of these very very low so if we have a look at the this is on all three VCOs so if I try and just trigger one at a time so this is VCO3 now the green line is my synthesizer and the red line is the output from the mini brute so I think I have two oscillators running at the moment right, I did let's go up Only very tiny, tiny frequency error there. And let's bring in VCO2. Again, sawtooth. And I have a fine tune adjust on VCO2, so I can sort of get that a lot better and just a little bit of trimming, calibration on the high frequency track in there. And that's VCO, that's all three. It's very, very hard to get all three VCOs precise, but then to be get to be honest with you, I can't see any reason why on the mono simp you would want all three VCOs at exactly the same frequency perfect because it kind of doesn't make sense if you want to mix in another waveform we've got the option here to mix in another waveform so yeah so it's nice to have that detuned effect but yeah but that's about it for this video I'm going to try and come back with next part on the um, looking at the Steiner Parker VCFs I hope this is useful and I hope you can leave some questions in the comments section if there's anything you need to query please remember I'm not an electrical engineer I've just literally just only been doing this for just over a year now and I'm still in the learning stages I'm sure many of you guys are anyway if you've got information you can share with me which is, could be useful please do so subscribe give us a like and uh, yeah support thumbs up people anyway I'll uh, catch you guys soon take it nice and easy